a lot of people who are healing from toxic relationships will be worried that they're going to become selfish or think that self-love feels like something that is leaning towards narcissism or making them become narcissistic in order to, you know, not be hurt by other people. So what self-love is, is not narcissism. What self-love is, is valuing and honoring yourself and respecting yourself and having boundaries with people in the world that you know from clarity inside yourself and are able to place those boundaries without the guilt and shame and all of that because you know it's right for your life and you know that it's something that you um, are doing to maintain health and well-being and emotional well-being and emotional health and all of that for your own life. If you contrast that with narcissism, narcissism basically is an inflated sense of self, inflated sense of false self that is created by a delusional sense of grandeur of what a person is that they so basically they're looking at something they believe is themselves and they're putting that as like this glorified version of who they are and they are not actually being introspective and looking at the true self they're living in a delusional state of aggrandizing the things that they want to believe they are the and the thing is who cares let them do it right like who cares if someone does that why do we care narcissists don't stop there they don't stop at being egotistical their need for supply and their need for attention and their need for focus to be on them and on this aggrandized version of who they believe and say that they are creates the manipulation that they use toward other people so that they're tearing other people down in order to build themselves up. They're using other people as the supply and the catalyst to like building their egotistical point of view of self. The difference with self-love is it doesn't affect or harm anyone else. It is simply respecting oneself. And yes, you may need to set a boundary which affects someone else. But if, if you are operating from self-love, that boundary is placed very obviously for personal reasons for self, right? It's not, it's not there to manipulate and force the other person into a position. It is simply the act of caring for oneself. Self-love, it's a very challenging concept for a lot of people who have been raised a toxic upbringing who have, or people who have been in long-term toxic relationships or people who have been just completely torn down from short-term toxic relationships, finding that place of self-love and especially for people who were raised by toxic parents. And um, they aren't, you aren't taught that that's even a thing. You don't even really know what it means. So we start applying all these things like I'll just do these affirmations. I'll just boost myself up. And, and there's, I want to say artificial sort of push toward forcing this self-love on ourselves in order to do the thing right, right? To do this healing thing right. But the thing about self-love is it's not necessarily an act of or words of how amazing you are and how and boosting yourself up those are all things that can be included of course but it's really an act of self-respect and an and and an action of self-awareness that you learn to stop the judging and you learn to let go of the perfectionism and you learn to let go of the things that are that are causing the the twisted thinking in our own heads about self. And through that, you are gaining a love of self, which means allowing the love that exists to also be for yourself. So if you're a person that knows how to love, you know what it feels like to love, you know that you love things or people or animals or whatever, you know what the experience of love is. It's, a, it's including yourself in that feeling and allowing that to come towards self from yourself. Does that That's completely different than an egotistical viewpoint of a narcissist who intellectually and from a stubborn sense of righteous ego, you know what I mean? Um, 
is pretending to be this amazing thing when on the inside there is a lot of self-criticism, a lot of judging, a lot of self-hatred that isn't dealt with and instead is, you know, because they say most narcissists are, have pretty uh, insecure about who they're actual who they actually are. And that's why they are partially why they're lashing out at others because instead of having self-awareness with it, and this is another reason why I don't believe in self-aware narcissists as anything more than someone that claims they are narcissistic, but the self-awareness of the inner life of the reality of the suffering that they have about themselves. And instead of taking that and growing with it, they're taking that pretending it doesn't exist and saying, no, I'm not, I'm better. No, I'm not that. I'm this. And forcing this false persona for everyone else to see and then creating that delusional world that they require everyone to revolve around or else it crumbles their little glass house, right? It crumbles it. There is no foundation of self-love. It is egotism. Self-love, on the other hand, includes everything. It includes, it's a foundation that if you have it, and you build it, okay? You may not have it right now. You may not even know what I'm talking about when I say self-love. And that's okay because you can gain it through experiencing yourself in life and through knocking off all the judgment (laughs) that you have towards yourself, right? And through kindness, through a gentle inner dialogue with oneself. There's all kinds of tools for building your experience of self-love. I'm not going to say building self-love because I think self-love is a natural state that can be had if we're taught how to accept ourselves and how to fully allow ourselves to be self, right? To be true self, right? Instead of what we were taught, which is we're supposed to be X, Y, and Z for everybody else from toxic upbringing and or that we're not good or that we're wrong because of this or that, you know, whatever we're taught because of the traumas of our past. 